E, welcome once again to uh, Louis the Gunner, All Leagues Matter, and the politics of football. Three channels. Um, and as the Premier League's made the decision to go ahead, um, I will make my decision this week on whether I go to the Wolves game. You see, hopefully. Um, just a little one. Really proud of him. Lionel Messi has done a team of the year in France so far. I don't know this. So far the season or the whole. But anyway, in his centre back position, right back centre back position, I think. Arsenal's very own William Saliba. Well done, Willie. I mean, come on, coming from one of the greatest ever talents that's ever played football. Some would say the greatest ever talent. Natural. I'd say natural talent. Uh, for hard work and everything, you've got to give it a Ronaldo. But Messi just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? That's an argument for another day. But for coming from Lionel Messi, that is some praise ahead of his own PSG counterparts. Um, he did get a man of the match against PSG when they played him. I think maybe that had something to do with it. Saliba kept Messi quiet all game, along with Neymar and Mbappe. So I think maybe that had something to do with it as well. How this lad cannot return to Arsenal next season. Even if he's on the bench, if he's got a fight to get in the team Arteta cannot let this boy go I think he'd done a I think if he was going to let him go he'd done a Gwendozy he knows how talented William Saliba is and we need cover there we don't at the moment if if Ben White or Gabriel got injured we'd be we'd be we'd be buggered absolutely buggered and for them to stay fit all season is a big ask. But so far, we've been lucky. Lucky. But who have we got to replace? Rob Holden? Callum Chambers? I mean, come on. When you got William Saliba. It's time for him to come back to the club next season. He's only got two years left on his deal. I want him at the club, happy. Signing a new deal. He's only 20. Well done, William. And there's talk of Vlajevic bust up with Ronaldo. <laughs> so I read the story. I thought it's had some sort of argument. But does Stan Vlajevic ask him target, it says. I think he will be a target if we finish fourth. Or maybe third. I mean, you look at the Boxing Day fixtures, right? This is just me looking ahead. Chelsea can't buy a goal. Let alone score one. When Chelsea can't buy a goal, you know they're in trouble. Because they buy everything, right? And, um... Just looked at that. Oh, but you spent the most money in the summer. Yeah, because we needed a new team. Anyway, enough of that banter. Um... They've got Villa away. Villa away. That's tough, man. We have Norwich City away. Now, if Arsenal can't put Norwich City away, even at Carroll Road, forget top four. Because watching Tottenham purr with an average team yesterday, apart from Kane and Son, and a few, a few others, was was... Exactly what I expected from Antonio Conte. He's got Tottenham Purr in with an average, very average team. Imagine them with a few top signings. Dangerous. They would probably go above us. As to be said, next season, watch out. Tottenham will be about. I don't think they'll win the league, but I think 
they would def- definitely be in the top four. And Manchester United and Chelsea at the moment are the two teams looking like. Do you know what? Chelsea, if you look, if you actually look at it, all Chelsea signed in the summer was Romelu Lukaku, right? And it was the last day of the season that they got that fourth place off Leicester. Tottenham won at Leicester. And I can't remember where Chelsea won or drew. I think he drew. It might might have even been a Villa. I'm not. I, I I can't remember. But Chelsea got the point or two, three points they needed. Irrespective, Leicester, Leicester, Leicester bottled it, and Chelsea got in. Otherwise, Chelsea wouldn't even be guaranteed a Champions League spot um, for next season. Uh, for this season, but they won the Champions League, so they're back in it all magly. But um, if you think about it, they've only added Romelu Lukaku. So could we see the great fall away from Chelsea? Now, if Villa... Are, for me, Villa are looking good. Villa have got goals in them. Chelsea don't. I'm going to be bold and I'm going to say Villa are going to beat Chelsea. I don't know who's coming back from che- from fitness, but I don't care. I mean, uh, it, it depends who is back. You know, if Werner's back, Lukaku, um, they, could, they could win the game easily. Maybe get a draw. I think they miss, as much, as much as they moan about Jorginho, I think they miss Jorginho. Um, it all depends on who's fit but if they have a team out like they did against Wolves then they're in trouble in deep trouble at Villa Park Um, as for Arsenal I don't expect anything less than three points and nothing less than three points is acceptable at Cow Road they're bottom of the league and um, but Respect to Norwich. They do give you a physical game, which I think Arsenal are up for. You know, look at Martinelli. He's not the biggest, but he does not get pushed around, mate. Let alone our centre back Gabriel and Xhaka. So we're, we're, we're we can be a physical team as well as a nice flow and pass. We got we got a bit of both in there at the moment. But just think of this. Come the evening when all the games are done, Chelsea are three points ahead of Arsenal. <laughs> they could be nine clear of us. They could win at Villa Park and Arsenal could lose at Norwich. Do an Everton. I call it do an Everton, do a toffee. Will Arsenal have a toffee in their mouth, chewing it and breaking a tough again? I don't think so. Not. Not not at the moment. We are purring. We're hitting form at the right time. Watch out, Chelsea. I said it. We're coming for you.